After a sharp spike, the oil market has got stuck in a sideways range, despite a steady stream of news from the Middle East. Encouragingly, the hostilities do not yet affect global oil supply chains. And the largest oil exporters from the Arabian Peninsula stay neutral and call on the parties to host peace talks, thus showing that they do not intend to join the conflict. In theory, oil prices should have rebounded. However, uncertainty uh, keeps uh, the market relatively stable. An unpredictable political environment does not allow traders to make any predictions. The determining factor will be developments in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Diplomatic talks between Israel and Saudi Arabia have already been suspended. In addition, possible evidence of Iran's direct participation in attacks has raised fears that the United States could ramp up sanctions on Tehran as Iranian crude exports to China are running at the highest level in at least a decade. Meanwhile, Venezuela and the United States have reportedly progressed in a talks that could provide sanctions relief to Caracas by allowing at least one more foreign oil company to take Venezuelan crude oil for debt repayment under certain conditions. Brand oil futures have stabilized at around $88 per barrel, which indicates the prevalent bullish mood despite of about conditions in the short-term time frame. Thus, the key driving factor remains the news flow, which may cause new price fluctuations. Speaking of gold, the situation is similar. The only difference is that the yellow metal extended gains, though not so rapidly as at the opening bell. The point is that high global risk contribute to flight to safe haven assets, including gold. So if the conflict continues, the metal will rise further, albeit at a smoother pace. Meanwhile, the dollar has not been able to consolidate above 100 rubles against the Russian ruble, although it continues to trade near this psychological mark, given that the ruble usually reacts to global developments with some delay. A steep decline in the dollar last week will soon affect the Russian currency. The ruble may well start gaining value as early as today, However, its bullish run is likely to be sluggish as usual. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.